Okay, well, I'm recording this now for the second time, but welcome everybody back to the video. Today, we were actually going to be going out here, or well, we did go out here and re-hunt Silver Ridge Peaks, but with a reset population, so I did reset it because of all of the accusations of last week, and I just wanted to make sure that there were no funky, hacked, or glitched animals on any of my maps. So all of my maps have been reset, and I did go on a hunt this morning for Mule Deer, Bighorn, Mountain Lion some mule deer and a little bit of some mountain goats but my audio messed up i accidentally had two microphone inputs on my call of the wild overlay because recently all i had been playing on was the classic like classic setup i have in obs but i fixed that now so this should hopefully work but what we're going to do now instead is we're going to go for some bison some black bear and some mountain goats and just see what we can find hopefully we can find some sort of rare or some sort of diamond because with pop reset that does often happen but before we get into this i do want to quickly ask you guys to go ahead and join my discord server down below in the description there you will find an invite link it is always pretty fun on there we have quite a few nice conversation and i do always keep you guys up to date in terms of what content will be coming and also some back like some information that you wouldn't just not see here on youtube so some kind of rares that i find or maybe some other like cool things that i see in the game that i will just not put on a youtube video because it's maybe not interesting enough or it just doesn't fit into that week you guys can see that on there but with that being said let's get into this hunt and let's look what we can find Okay, well, we are here at our first lake. I was just shooting down some small things that we had, but apparently we have a four over there and a five medium back there. Just want to make sure we have the right distance. He does seem to have 111 as his higher estimate. So yeah, let's stay at 300. So he should make diamond. He should not be a troll, but let's look if we can. Okay, we cannot hit that four, but that five, did we get him? Okay, we got him, and I think we accidentally, yeah, we accidentally deleted that zone, but that should not matter because they will come back to this lake anyway. I also downed another four back here before I started recording this, but I mean, let's go over there, pick him up. I'll also pick up the four just because I'm curious when he's going to be in. You probably also want to know, but let me get over there and see what we get. And here's that four that oh, I didn't show you guys the shot on him, but I think this is the four. Uh, let's go ahead and claim him. He wasn't anything great. He was a beige. He was, well, he was decently off of diamond, but nowhere clear close to diamond weight. And here's our five. Oh, sadly, he's not the white fur variation. I really want a diamond in the white fur variation. I think it was the white. I'm actually unsure now, but I'm pretty sure we have a brown already, but let's look what he is. He is a 140.96 40 kilogram light brown, 111, so almost four above diamond requirement. Very nice mountain goat, and obviously that can always happen with population resets. That does mean, though, that we're probably not going to be finding too much other great stuff around here because i don't think we can have too many diamonds off of a population reset but then again i don't know this 100 percent, so might be wrong but still very cool to find um well we have another thing back here it's a level four max weight rocky mountain elk so why don't we smoke him i don't necessarily need another diamond of them but i mean I wouldn't say no to getting another Rocky Mountain Elk because they just look amazing on the wall. But I think we got something good on him. I did see his health drop down. And I don't think there's anything else good with him. I think that was just a level 2 or 3. But yeah, let me go collect him. And then we're probably going to look if we can maybe find some Plains Bison. While I was going to go ahead and claim a Rocky Mountain Elk, I think... I just spotted a leucistic plains bison back there. I'm pretty sure he's leucistic. He does look a lot lighter than all of the other ones. So if she, actually it's a she, if she turns broadside again, I will take her down. But I am pretty happy taking that shot. 
And if she's gonna be fleeing, then I don't know. Why don't we go for that one more? And yeah, she is definitely going down. So we're gonna pick her up as well. But here is our Rocky Mountain Elk. Well, at least one of his tracks. Shouldn't be too far though, I think. Yeah, he's right over there. I don't think he's gonna score anything above 380, maybe 390 at maximum because, well, he does look pretty small, but let's have a look. Yeah, 385. He is a brown fur variation, which I think personally is the coolest looking one of the uncommon ones. Obviously, the albino just looks the best, but I prefer this one over the gray common and the piebald just because I think this just looks the nicest of them all. But hopefully, like I said, a good respawn. And now let's look if I was actually right with thinking that's a leucistic because I'm not 100% sure. While we're going back, we got a nice level 6 black bear over there. So I wouldn't say no to taking him down because I still want myself a color phase. I think that's what it's called. A color phase black bear. So why don't we go ahead and take him down for some respawns. He wasn't anything crazy. He wasn't even max weight estimate. But you never know. You might get something good as a respawn at some point. And here's a level 6. Nothing special, like I said, just a gold. But like I said, hopefully a respawn for the future when we do come back here on SRP. Just kind of, I was feeling this today. I kind of asked you guys also in the Discord what you guys would prefer if I should go on Quattro for my first map reset, for my first pop reset, or if I should stay and go on SRP and SRP won in that discussion, so... Yeah, and over here is our potentially leucistic female. And yeah, that does definitely look leucistic. I'm pretty sure that she is going to be leucistic, but let's go ahead and claim her. And yeah, she's leucistic. She's even a silver, and I think that might be the other leucistic that I have. I know these are not super rare. I've got two of them so far in my lodge. One of them was off of Yukon and... One of them was on release day of Silver Ridge. So I know that they're not super, super rare, but still, that is very, very cool to find. And definitely something that's going to go in our second lodge on one of the bigger plaques in the back room. But for now, that is just very nice. And we got her on the right lung the first time. And then we just, I don't even know how that counted as a hit, but not going to complain. She did go down, so that is very good. Well, I had to quickly get off, and I accidentally left the game running. So it is almost the end of bear drink time now as well. But there's two level 7s back here, and ultimately I would like to try and get both of them. But of course, that female just kind of has to ruin the plan of me trying to get both of those 7s. But let's give it a shot anyways. Let's make sure we're zeroed for 150. Aim a little bit high. Actually, we can use the... Yeah, we can use the 300. And let's go for that. And then where's that other level 7? He's up there. So definitely hit the second one good. I'm not too sure about the first one. I didn't see him drop in health. But I think that's tier 2 hunting pressure. So we should be fine. And I'm pretty sure I didn't shoot anything here last time. Because... The mule deer were... Yeah, okay, both of those are down. There's still one more standing there. It's a 5 medium, so... If he is going to stay there, I will actually take him down as well. Just because of respawns. I still want a color-phased black bear, like I just said. But <clears throat> let's get over there, pick those guys up, and hopefully at least one of those will respawn as a max weight estimate because both of those level 7s had the lower weight estimate on them and usually sevens are already in the higher higher tier but i guess we just got a little bit unlucky there here's the first one we shot and he was a gold and he's yeah almost he's a little over a kilo away from being in the max weight estimate so hopefully that can change in the future here's the last one that we shot and just the silver obviously with a five that is what you would expect, but let's look what this one is going to be. And yeah, okay, he was quite a bit away from being 
in the higher weight estimate because I think they need to be 222. But yeah, hopefully the first one will be a nice respawn and let's do okay, that's just a three. But I do not know what drinks actually next after this. I don't even know if anything does drink. So I might have to reset the time, but maybe we can get lucky and find one more lake. Well, I mean, since we're anyway going for a color phased black bear in the future, why not take down a current color phase? I think that's a blonde federation back there for respawns and to just get him out of the way. I don't think they have a limit of how many they can have on a map. So I think technically you could have basically every single black bear be a blonde for variation but just in case it's like any other rare let me get him down as well just so we can speed up free up some of that space and i can really not talk today but that should have been a nice double long hit there at around i think that was like 250 to 60 meters but the 300 really is overpowered for these bear like they just go down so fast if you hit them with the 300 it's it is insane but i like it obviously because it means i won't have to track them for very long and here is that level five black bear we got oh we actually didn't get a double lung we got a left lung liver and stomach which i think is a bit more helpful than a double lung but that was more luck than anything i was going for a double lung hit just a silver because once again he is just a level five so that is to be expected but I mean, let me wait, I think we might go a little bit into some, what do you call it, turkey drink time, because I haven't hunted those in a while, and I'm kind of curious what we could get maybe on a fresh reset, because there might be some rares hanging around, which I would definitely not complain. Okay, I think we're going to end on this, so this is a level 2 max weight potential turkey, but... It has always that slight potential of making diamond, and we got a good shot on that. I am surprised. I haven't used the 22 in a while, so I am surprised we hit that that good. We must have hit, like, penetrated deep enough to get, like, some kind of vital organ or something, but not too sure, so... I mean, let me just go over there, pick it up, and see if maybe we have one other thing around here, but... Other than that, I think this is basically going to be it for today. And, well, here is our turkey. So let's look what we hit. Oh, we hit it right in the middle neck. It was just a gold. He was pretty light. He was just 0.4 kilos above that esti weight estimate. But still, good turkey. Hopefully respawns as something else. Because we would like some diamond turkeys in our extra lodge. Even though I do have... I think one or two still extra from before, but that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, this was all on a map where the population was reset. So none of this were any grinded animals. These were just basically as if you jumped into a new map of SRP that had never been hunted before. But if you still enjoyed the video and like these diamonds, please, please hit that like button as it really does help out the channel more than you think. Secondly, if you're new around here, please do make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you're always notified when I stream or when I upload new content just like this. Also, secondly, or thirdly, I should say, make sure to comment down below if you guys want me to open up a new Seska Safari Lodge or a Spring Creek Manor Lodge. And make sure to join my Discord down below as it is pretty fun. We talk about quite a few interesting topics on there. And it's just nice having you on there. Plus, you guys get to vote on videos and on streams. So make sure to join that, to be a part of that. And lastly, and of course, most importantly, have a good day. Bye-bye and peace.